But you know, there is a lot that goes into putting on a nationally televised event like the Republican National Convention. And one of the biggest focal points you'll see over and over again is the stage. The set design takes months to plan and construction began a couple weeks ago. Well, today our cameras were invited inside Quicken Loans Arena to check it all out. 27 First News anchor Dave Sess is live in Cleveland with details on what you can expect. Well, we're not quite inside Quicken Loans Arena just yet. They're holding that off until 1 o'clock. They don't want to let us in just yet. But you speaking of the stage, Lauren, well, in Cleveland, the stage still belongs to LeBron James right now. Uh, he's still going to stay on the side of this building through the Republican National Convention. You know, the energy still over the Cavs' victory remains in this city, but that has to start shifting to the Republican National Convention because in less than three weeks, it'll be here. In fact, it's right across the street inside Quicken Loans Arena where the GOP will pick its nominee for president, which presumptively will be uh, Donald Trump. Now, keep in mind, Game 6 of the NBA Finals was in this building. So that's a short turnaround of about four weeks. Normally, a site has six to eight weeks to get everything ready. Well, as they unveil that stage today, where Trump will make his presumptive acceptance speech, uh, they're about 90% complete on it. There's 10,000 pounds of steel there, and they've already removed 900 seats from inside Quicken Loans Arena to make this convention fit into the, uh, into the seating pattern and how they actually wanted to make it to work. The stage, the lighting, the acoustics, also the seating, as I just talked about, all those things they have to fit in together. We're going to learn more about that and give you that peak. We saw a little bit of it last night at 5, but we'll show you more of what it looks like tonight coming up on WKBN 27 First News. Reporting right now live in Cleveland, Dave Sess, 27 First News.